You know, first of all, I want to say thank you all for uh, being here today and uh, helping us to celebrate and um, remember the life of Mia Goodwin, um, who was tragically taken from us way too soon last year at this same time at this location. So uh, we want to make sure that we keep her memory alive through CMPD. Uh, and uh, you all helping us doing that is certainly appreciated. Uh, you know, however, we do talk about celebrating her life. It is a somber moment for our department uh, as we remember uh, what we went through last year when uh, our department was changed forever. Uh, the, the family of Mia Goodwin's lives were changed forever uh, and that does not fall short on us. So we want to make sure that we uh, continue to honor her the best way that we know how. Can you just talk to us a little bit about who all was involved this morning and just how many officers? This is pretty impressive, this line here. Yeah, yeah, I was I was just as impressed in the car and looking back and seeing all the blue lights and the red lights. And so with uh, Charlotte Fire, the State Highway Patrol, um, CMPD, uh, it just, it really warmed my heart to see the participation uh, and the people that wanted to come out and, and some that did not have to be here but wanted to come here and and honor me a good one. So what a fantastic way to, to look back on the past year uh, and to remember what we were going through at this same time last year. How is the family doing a, a year later? It, it's tough. I mean, and, and you get through this year, uh, year anniversary and, uh, you know, I've had a chance to talk with the family and they, they, they have their struggles as expected uh, one year later, but it's part of the healing process and I think they understand that. and. Uh, they're going to continue to stay strong for me. You mentioned the safety of officers in your recent YouTube video. Talk to me just kind of about the steps that you guys have taken to yes. keep your officers safe. So, uh, yeah, since this, you know, collision or uh, crash that happened last year and uh, some of the things that we have immediately looked at and started working with the state and as well as uh, locally that uh, are, if you notice some of our police cars have additional markings on the back of them. Uh, we've worked with uh, Motors Assistance Patrol to expand these footprints when we deal with uh, traffic accidents, particularly on the interstates, uh, to ensure that we're warning drivers uh, well in advance that there's an accident or, or there's a collision up ahead. So uh, between all of that and, and additional uh, cones that we have for officers and we're looking, we're getting ready to get, with the help of our police foundation, some uh, beacon lights that will help alert drivers as they come up to collision scenes as well. So uh, there's a lot of things in place. You know, nothing's going to be perfect. And uh, however, when we can uh, look at something like what happened last year and, and we figure out ways we can get better, we're certainly going to do that. Are you surprised at all by the community outpouring dedications? There's been scholarships, there's paintings. I mean, it's just been pretty tremendous. Well, you know, it, 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 that's who Charlotte is. You know, you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. Uh, uh, I'm elated to see that our community once again stepped up, uh, and uh, there was just an outgoing show of support that uh, was just incredible. And you know, it it makes me. It confirms my reason for being here in Charlotte. And uh, our community always steps up, whether it's toy drives or tragic accidents, uh, things, that, uh, things that we need to show who we are as a community. Uh, and Charlotte certainly did that last year and throughout this, this past year. All right. Any other questions for the chief? No. All Thank right. you all for coming Thank out. You. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate Thank you.